Hi friends, good evening and welcome back to my channel Mukambika Nursing. Friends, in the previous video, we discussed all questions from ESIC, previous year ESIC question paper that is anatomy and physiology section. And in this video, also we can see previous year ESIC exam questions from anatomy and physiology surely this video will helpful for your ESIC exam preparation also for other exam preparation also this all previous year questions first question the chief regulator of immune mechanism is options option a plasma cells option b helper t cells option c b lymphocytes option d suppressor t cells question the chief regulator of immune mechanism is and the correct answer is option b helper t cells this helper t cells can able to synthesize cytokinin this cytokinin have cytotoxic activity cytotoxic activity means it can able to destroy the pathogenic organism or can able to destroy the microorganism which can able to infect our body so the chief regulator of immune mechanism is helper t cells the next question immunity acquired from dpt vaccine is an example for options option a active immunity option b cellular immunity option c acquired immunity option d passive immunity here correct answer is option a active immunity immunity which develop after vaccination is an example of acquired active immunity here in our option active immunity is there so that is the correct answer so immunity developed after vaccination is an example of acquired active immunity next question which of the following antibody occurs as a pendomeric structure options option a iga option b igg option c ige option d igm pendomeric structure correct answer is option d igm question is which antibody occurs as a pendomeric structure that is this igm antibody have five immunoglobulin sub unit in the picture we can see it have five immunoglobulin sub unit that's why it have pendomeric structure option d is the correct answer the next question the maximum immunoglobulin present in serum is options option a iga option b igg option c ige and option d igm immunoglobulin which is present in serum is igg igg is the most common immunoglobulin which is constitute about 70 percentage of all total immunoglobulin is igg IgG is the principal immunoglobulin present in the human serum. Okay, here option B is the correct answer. The next question, the process of tightening your fibrin clothes in such a way that the ruptured area of blood vessels get smaller and smaller. Thus, decreasing the hemorrhage is called. Options, option A, fibrocytis. Option B, fibrinolysis. Option C, synarthrosis. And option D, synarhesis. This question was asked in 2016 ESIC exam first shift. Okay. Correct answer is option D, synarhesis. If suppose any injury or any cut occurs in our body, automatically oozing will come. Then after some time, the blood clot will form okay that is the process of tightening of fiber fibrin clot in such a way that the ruptured area of blood vessels once the area of the blood vessels get smaller and smaller that is the stringage of fibrin which which occurs when blood clot will form okay once the blood clot will form the hemorrhage will decrease that process is known as synergesis okay 
The next question RH blood group is a complex antigen found in options option a surface of WBC option B surface of RBC option C both A and B option D none of this RH blood group is a complex antigen found in the surface of RBC option B is the correct answer on the next question RH factor in the blood was discovered in which year option option a 1940 option b 1930 option c 1938 option d 1948 correct answer is option a 1940 rh factor in the blood was discovered in the year 1940 by landsteiner and weiner this is also important point who discovered rh factor lands landsteiner and weiner The next question blood flow through each kidney is options option A 1 to 5 liter per minute option B 1 to 3 liter per minute option C 1 to 2 liter per minute and option D 1 liter per minute blood flow through each kidney is about 1 to 2 liter per minute option C is the correct answer The next question most highly phagocytic cells of circulating blood is option a is no fills option b basophils option c neutrophils and option d macrophage most highly phagocytic cells of circulating blood is option c neutrophils move on to the next question thickest chamber of the heart is options option a right atrium option b right ventricles option c left atrium option d left ventricles thickest chamber of the heart correct answer is option d left ventricles left ventricles is the thickest chamber of the heart and its thickness is about 10 to 15 mm and the thinnest chamber of the heart is a right atrium thickest chamber is left ventricles move on to the next question a length of optic nerve is about options option a 8 cm option b 6 cm option c 4 cm and option d 2 cm length of optic nerve is about 4 cm option c is the correct answer Move on to next question length of portal vein is about options option a 8 cm option b 6 cm option c 4 cm and option d 2 cm length of portal vein is about 8 cm option a is the correct answer move on to the next question tricuspid valve is located between option a right atrium and right ventricles option b left atrium and left ventricles option c left and right ventricles and option d right ventricles and aorta tricuspid valve is located between option a right atrium and right ventricles the valve between right atrium and right ventricles is called tricuspid valve or a right atrioventricular valve okay this prevent the back flow of blood into a right atrium here option a a right atrium and right ventricles is the correct answer next question the second heart sound is due to options option a mitral valve option b aortic valve option c tricuspid valve option d bicuspid valve and the correct answer is option b aortic valve the second heart sound is due to the closure of aortic valve there are two heart sound that is lab and dub that we can heard by stethoscope heart sounds are produced by closure of heart valves okay here first heart sound is produced by closure of av valve av valve means atrioventricular valve and second heart sound is produced by the closure of sl valve that is semi lunar valve semi lunar valve means aortic and pulmonary 
valve. Here, aortic valve is there in the option. So, that is the correct answer. The next question. Direct question. One cardiac cycle completes in option A 0.8 second, option B 0.12 second, option C 0.57 second, and option D 0.10 second. One cardiac cycle complete in 0.8 second. Option A is the correct answer. The next question. Butterfly shaped endocrine gland is. Options. Option A. Pancreas. Option B. Pituitary gland. Option C. Thyroid gland. And option D. Thymus gland. Butterfly shaped endocrine gland is thyroid gland. Option C is the correct answer. Move on to the next question. During a resting stage, the duration of expiration is option A 1 second, option B 3 second, option C 4 second, option D 5 second. Duration of expiration during a resting stage is about 3 second. Option B is the correct answer. Duration of inspiration during resting stage is 2 second and expiration is 3 second. It is an important question. Next question. Partial pressure of carbon dioxide in alveolar air is. Options. Option A. 20 mmohg. Option B. 30 mmohg. Option C. 40 mmohg. Option D. 50 mmohg. Partial pressure of carbon dioxide in alveolar air is about 40 mmohg. Option C is the correct answer. Same. Partial pressure of nitrogen in alveolar air is about 573 mmohg. Here it is carbon dioxide. It is 40 mmohg. Nitrogen is 573 mmohg. Move on to the next question. Tropomyosin in the muscle fiber is a dash protein. Options. Option A. Contractile protein. Option B. Angering protein. Option C. Structural protein. Option D. Regulatory protein. Tropomyosin in the muscle fiber is a regulatory protein. Option D is the correct answer. In the skeletal muscle, there is contractile protein is there. Also, regulatory protein also is there. Contractile protein include actin and myosin. Same, a regulatory proteins in the skeletal muscles include tropomyosin and troponin. Here question is tropomyosin in the muscle fiber is a regulatory protein. Option D is the correct answer. Move on to the next question. This is 2016 ESIAC exam question. Skeletal muscles under microscope have cross striations formed by dark and light band. The dark bands are formed by the protein. Option A, actin. Option B, myosin. Option C, troponin. Option D, all of this. Correct answer is option B, myosin. The contractile protein in the skeletal muscles are actin and myosin. In this thick filaments or dark filaments are made by myosin. And thin filaments are made by actin. Okay, here dark... Uh, bands are formed by the protein that is the question so it is made by myosin option b is the correct answer the next question 2016 question same immediate source of energy for the muscle contraction is options option a actinomyosin option b adenosine triphosphate option c troponin option d phosphocreatinine here correct answer is option B adenosine triphosphate immediate source of energy for muscle contraction is option B adenosine triphosphate. These all are previous ESIC exam questions. Now I am gathering ESIC questions and we can see all the questions in continuous videos. Okay stay tuned. Thank you for watching my channel. If it is useful please subscribe my channel also.